My name is Puddle, and once I was a familiar. But the only thing I'm familiar with now is my family, a mime and a mermaid. Who would have thought? And of course you, my son, Raindrop. I love you, Papa. I love you too. But it wasn't always this easy. Who knew this horse would make such a splash? Time to switch to my singing voice. I heard there was a wet, wet horse that Gillian birthed during improv, of course. But you don't really care for fine steed, do ya? It started like this, a mermaid of mime, the confession. I love you, Raindrop. I love you, Papa. And I love you too, Jane. I love you too, Puddle. Okay, no more stories tonight. Oh, come on. I want to hear one more. No, no, your mom's right. That's you got to right. get to bed. You've got a big day tomorrow. My first day of horse school. That's right, your first day of horse school. Mm-hmm. Your first day of horse school. I love you, Mama and Papa. Thank you for everything. Oh, I love you too. I love you so you. Papa, do you hear that? Hear what, my beautiful ring? By the goddess of the moon, I summon you as a raccoon! Where we last slept off. A situation of desperate urgency overcame the three captains of the Riptide Pirates. Gillian, you found yourself fading. The curse progressed into a slow and inevitable death. Chip and Jay, with every ounce of haste, rushed Gillian to Featherbrook in hopes that Jay's mother could break the curse before his time ran out. The journey included a mysterious creature lurking within a fog, a glimpse of an old flame sailing the seas, a sudden conflict with a massive bird, and a solemn moment of heart between three best friends. 
Once he arrived at May Farron's tavern, the circumstances of gravity was all but lighter. As you made one final race against time to acquire the necessary components for May's spell. A spell that, combined with Gillian's remaining willpower and effort, saved his life and finally allowed him a peaceful rest. And so, the journey continues. As soon as Jay's mom collapsed, the scene cuts black. We fade in. We move through the main interior where Chip sits at the bar helping himself to any manner of drink as Gillian rests behind him. We move into the back room of the Eagle's Den, a place for May to rest during work hours if she doesn't wish to return home. And inside this back room, Jay, you sit on a chair beside the bedside to your mom, waiting for her to wake up. I'd probably have like a, like a cold cloth kind of to wipe her head off if she's like you know in a sweat or anything uh don't know what kind of sickly she is but it doesn't appear to be a feverish state but you've done your best to make sure she's comfortable mm -hmm. and during this wait what has been about an hour now your mind races as it does but the one thing that keeps making its way back to the front despite any skepticism or attempts to push it down. It's a fortune you were told on Noctis. There is always the brightest sun after the darkest days. It keeps the knot in your stomach tight. And then you hear the sheets sort of rustle a bit to catch your attention. You see your mom <sighs> breathe less shallow and begin to move. Open her eyes. Hey, hey. No, stay in bed. You were... Are you okay? <laughs> Try not to look that worried, JJ. You're gonna have wrinkles. <laughs> I, I, I can't... I can't help it. She brings you in for a hug. Yeah, I absolutely hug her. <sighs> um, I mean... You know, you, you collapsed. I mean, you were collapsing earlier when you were working, too. I, is everything okay? I'm sorry, Jay. I didn't... I didn't mean to worry. And... It's okay. Are you sure? Um, is there anything I can get for you? Are you hungry? Thirsty? Um, I mean, Chip can probably make a mean soup. Chip cannot make a mean soup. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind a little bit of that, but do you remember when you and Ava were little girls and I told you stories of my mother her mother. About how we were all said to be born from the seeds of a great, great tree. And that the two of you would blossom into beautiful flowers. Of course. <laughs> you used to tell us that every night before bed. I know. It sounds a little silly now that you're older, but there's more to the stories that I was told by my mother as she was told by hers. What, what do you mean? Could I have that soup first, please? <laughs> Some water? I need yeah. to check on your friend that you brought in. She tries to stand no, up no, no, now. No, you Rest, we're taking care of him. Okay? I'll get that soup right to you. Um, and I, I stand up slowly, uh, 
start walking away, but I turn around and give her a hug again quickly before uh, going in. Of course. Preparing some soup. Uh, hey, Chip. Chip's head is like on the bar. The bottle is kind of like <laughs> turned on its side with liquor like covering the table and like all on the side of his face. I I asked you to take care of Gillian. Okay. Is <laughs> he like lifts his face from the bar? Huh? You see it like dripping down his face. <laughs> you are a mean soup, bro. Reporting for duty. I was gonna ask you to to maybe help me prepare some soup or something, but uh, I can I can make soup. No, you can't. No, yeah. No, no I totally How do you got make a soup? Okay. How's your Chip. How's your dad? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Yeah, he's just fantastic, Chip. Great. That's so good. Okay. Um, Where would I go to make this soup? <gasps> okay, so <laughs> it's like so, like if you go upstairs. And first door on the right, uh huh. You'll find a really comfortable bed, and you just lie down there, and you sleep off. That was, no, that's Jay, thousands of gold. Jay, that's Jay, thousands Jay, Jay. of gold worth of alcohol you just drank. Jay, 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 Jay. <laughs> I want to help. I go and put my arms like on her. I like brush it off because it's drenched in alcohol. <laughs> Look, let me just help. Okay. Okay. Let me do something. <laughs> Chip. <laughs> All right. Um, I look around. What do I see around me in, in the inn? This is just a little tavern. Uh-huh. So in the tavern, I mean, yeah. It's mostly, like I said before, they're actually uh, like bird nests in the window seals, sort of like small rectangular sunlights all around the top portions of the walls and the interior and in on those are potted plants hanging herb herbs and all kinds of different shrubbery and green and in them are nests with little birds sleeping through them at, at this point of night uh seem to be her little helpers that she usually commands during the day then there are numerous amounts of tables uh kind mm -hmm. of squeezed together because it isn't the largest bowl-shaped uh structure yeah. And you guys are currently standing in between some tables pushed together where Gillian is on one on them, and then yeah. the bar is behind you with shelves of different types of alcohol that your mother has collected over the years. And oh, got it. Um, and I'm gonna run over to like a closet uh, somewhere in the building and open it and kind of rummage around in a little bit. You're able to find a small little pantry closet. There's also a door that leads to a small, very tiny kitchen for it's one. It's like a, it's like a storage closet. Like I'm looking for one that just have like general stuff yeah, in it. You can yeah. Do uh, and I, I pull something out of a basket, brush it off. <sighs> yeah, this will do. Chip, I need you to solve this 2,000 piece puzzle. Nothing will bring my mom more joy than okay, seeing this puzzle and completed. And you're sure? Yeah. Okay. I think, uh, I think okay, that's the most I'll helpful thing you can I'll do. I'll do it for you and your family. Okay, I'll do this. Chip, I put my hands on his shoulders. Thank you. You're doing more than you could ever know. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my God, uh, you, you can count on me. I got this. I'd like to go up the stairs and disappear from the scene. You head up into the attic <laughs> where Jay found the puzzle. <laughs> I just disappear. I'm gone for a while. You don't know where he is. Are you going to continue to try and solve this soup problem for your mother? Yeah, I'm going to go, uh, I don't know. There's probably some nice ingredients. I can probably and make a nice just, broth. Just roll survival. Yeah. Because when we're all, when we're cooking, we're all just surviving, right? That's true. I got a 21. What soup do you make? Do you make any specific soup? I'll just tell you right now. It's a mean soup. Oh, it's a mean soup, all right. Um, I'd, I'd probably go for the basic, you know, when somebody's sick, you always go for, like, the kind of chicken noodle, but I'd also get some, like, scallots in there, you know, maybe some carrots, a bunch oh, of, right. like, hearty vegetables. Uh, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, just, like, kind of like a vegetable chicken soup, I'd say. And I'd probably bring her the water before the soup was done. Bring your mother uh, a late dinner of um, some comfort food. As I'm, like, heading out of the kitchen, though, I probably want to check on Gillian quickly. Is he just still snoring? Fast asleep. Yeah, that's fair. Bird, 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 bird. <laughs> you head in. Um, you catch your mom looking less 
bright than usual. And she doesn't ever break. Hey. Uh, and I brought you the soup. And <laughs> she lights back up. Great. Yeah, I was uh, getting a little worried overhearing, uh, overhearing Chip. Oh, yeah, that's his he's, name, uh, right? The boy that took you away yeah, from that's, home? That's Chip, yeah. Um, I'm, and I'm sure he introduced himself. He's He's got a really a habit of doing so, but uh, the other one's Gillian. Uh, the one you helped save. Now I learned a little bit about him while he was mumbling in that delirious state. Did you hear the titles? And she kind of gives like a little smile. <laughs> I don't think he would have actually said the titles, no. Uh, not not too much, just uh, talked more about you two than he did himself. <laughs> Something about uh, raspberries. She starts to just sip on what you've made her. How has everything been since I left? Has dad said anything about me? No, I've, um, I've been avoiding contacting, I've been, I haven't called him uh, since this started happening. No, I just, he's, he's got so much already. If I tell him anything is, is slightly wrong, this village will swarm with soldiers and I don't want to do that to the people. <laughs> yeah. I have a, extravagant medical team here and you know I'm not, I've never barely been about all that this is too much mm -hmm. I mean he is always so stressed about everything <laughs> I know he was tough but he is always worried and I know he'll never show it but he hurts still trying to prove himself to his own mother I haven't told him about anything going on, and I am so happy to see you, Shay, but I don't know even where to begin. I guess a good place to start would be, when did this start happening? Do you, do you know, like, what it is? Anything? She just sits a moment and then finishes the soup. <sighs> that silly little story I told you girls that one and the one I was told I, I don't know if they're real whoever knows what's truly real <laughs> but I know what feels real is My magic is leaving me, JJ. I just kind of give her a little bit of a concern, but... Um... And let her, I guess, keep talking. It's leaving, and my... I'm sure you know it's... A big part of my life. Because it's leaving, I'm starting to think... The stories I grew up with had more truth. What do you... What do you mean? I mean... I'm sorry if... I mean, it's been a while since I've heard them in full, but... I have never told this. There's never been any reason to... You and Ava weren't born... with the same... magic. I'll stop being vague. My family, for however long the history was, they believe our spirit, our blood, draws magic from a tree that grew from the world. One that is said to, where its roots split the oceans. And they believe that this split, this tree, is what keeps balance. 
It needs the ocean to survive. And all life above the ocean need it. So, what you think? Maybe this this whole tree is real and something's happening to it? Or... I don't know, JJ. But it feels like it needs me. Like it needs my magic. Like it's calling. For help. And it's been at least a month. Maybe two. Maybe since you left, I can't. I really didn't pay it any mind until the weakness got more frequent. I think Jay's just kind of like thinking right now. I think you're right. I think it... I think it very well could be real and I think it's dying. And I think it needs the ones that draw power from it to hold on. And if the stories are real, I can understand why. Because should such a thing cease to exist, JJ, wouldn't we all? I mean, if all life above the ocean relies on it, and it relies on the ocean, then yeah, probably. It, I don't know, it's just got me thinking this might not even be related but a while ago I I had this dream um it I don't even know if I can call it a dream it felt so real and in this dream I mean I was on a mountaintop I could see felt like I could see everything the whole world and above me was the sun um, and it just I don't know if it was getting closer or more intense but uh, I couldn't handle it and it just overtook me completely um, and I don't know I mean it's, it's stuck with me since so I'm wondering there's a chance that maybe you'd know something about that. I don't know if this will have anything to do with with the tree, but let me roll for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really weird thing to say, Mom. I can't resist, dude. It's so funny. <laughs> Before you were born, I remember your father was plagued by intense dreams but he never talked about them it's hard again to talk about most things but it got to a point where most nights I would wait to fall asleep until these nightmares woke him up Sometimes they were violent. It's around the time that he began to take work a little too seriously. Have you seen him? Um, <laughs> once. I didn't really uh, go that great, but once, yeah. I know you included a lot in your letter to your mom. I got the impression it was mostly the good that you guys have done and that you left out a lot of anything that would make her worry. Yeah. Uh I don't think she would include all in the in the letter. She'd probably have said that 
she saw dad once but i don't think the context of which she would have given like anything with the block or anything like that she definitely painted a very good picture of everything they're doing uh and by good i mean like morally good <laughs> so she says i don't know what's happening to me but i'm scared to tell him I'm holding on, Jay. If I go with my magic, I just don't want you and your father to be alone. Hey, hey. Let's <laughs> slow down a little bit, yeah? You're not gonna go with your magic. Um. This is the natural cycle, Jay. And you're not a baby anymore. When you two left, I know... More than anyone else in our family. You were strong enough... To be your own person. I mean... You know, um... If... If the tree needs help or something, if that'll help you, then, then maybe uh, that's what I that's what I'll do. So I'll find out how to help it. You know, I can't just sit by and, and do nothing. I know you can't. I don't want you to. These are just stories, Jay. I mean, they don't know what you'll find. It's not like anyone's ever scaled those walls that separate. Then maybe he'll be the first. Maybe. Uh, Jay definitely looks like she's putting on a little bit of a brave face right now. I hope you don't give up on him. On who? Dad? Well, he needs to, um... There's, there's, there's <laughs> not give up on, on me first, I guess. Um, really thought you were gonna say know. fuck off. I don't know why. It's just, I, <laughs> I really, I thought he was gonna head. go hard too. I really thought yeah. he was gonna go hard. He needs to fuck off. No, in front of my mom, who's not yeah, doing no, good. This is, this is totally fair. Yeah, totally fair, dude. Off. Totally fair. It's just I heard it in my head, yeah, and I needed to fair. get it out. Uh, I guess it's not even I could have seen it coming, but I've taken. A direction in my life that I think it's hard for him to even agree with. So he's stubborn, all right. Yeah, that's putting it very lightly. I mean, you know, as much as I do. Maybe even better, but <laughs> I don't think uh, I could ever convince him to see my point of view. No. Maybe not. But that's not the goal, is it? Then what is the goal? She just takes your hands. I understand the treasure in your character. So no matter your ideals, or what you choose to do with your life. I believe in it. Because I understand you. I know it may seem impossible, JJ. I hope the two of you can understand each other one day. And find some way to reconcile. Someone's got to get through to him. But. I'm very proud to see that you have found people you very so clearly care about. 
and that very clearly care about you. That's all I wish. Jay just kind of gives a little nod and a little of like a light smile. Um, and just says, hmm. Yeah. I'm very lucky. Anyways, um, I should probably let you rest up some more. Um, and, you know, it's been a long couple of days for me. I could use some sleep, too. At this point, everybody but Gillian here is uh, knocking at the front door of the Eagle's no. Den. Oh, God. Jay, you hear the clearest. Your mother hears it as well. She begins to get up. Chip, you hear it muffled, but through a little window in the attic, you hear it very clearly. You can even peek if you wish. I'll take a, a little peek, sure. How many pieces are you on, I have to ask? <laughs> Do you want to roll for it? <laughs> roll two D100. I don't mean to slow it down. I'm just genuinely so curious how, how he's no worries, doing. No worries, no worries, no worries. How many pieces? You have the of the two thousand piece puzzle that you've been doing this whole time. Oh my fuck! I forgot, it. dude. I there's no fucking way. <laughs> no, Chip, that... <laughs> Chip went out there and like fucking fell asleep or something. Yeah. I was gonna say Chip fell asleep on the stairs on the way up, but like, <laughs> but like if if there's like a plot hook that I need to be in, I'll. The location of Arlen is you can see on the puzzle if you put it together. You can see where Arlen <laughs> right, is. Let's see. Out. Let's see how many pieces I got. 136. Holy That's fuck. That's crazy, dude. I got a good amount of that puzzle done. Chip has never solved a puzzle sober. <laughs> you rush up to kind of like one of the eyes of the outside of the eagle. It's like a little small circular window. You peek over and you see a few men. You only count three from this angle. Dressed in white and red. Soldier it's uniforms. It's Navy. Okay, it is. I, I want to, quickly as possible, rush down the stairs, get Gillian, and bring him up the stairs. Okay, Jay, what do you do? Your mother starts to stand. I'll do it stealthily too, by the way. I was going to have you roll. Just, Jay, do you rush to the door? What do you do? Do you sit and freeze? What's your option? You don't know who's at the door, but you do hear like the... The very hefty knocking, yeah. God, I feel like she just like tell her mom to stay in bed and go answer it herself. I would tell her to stall if I could as I'm bringing Gillian upstairs. Oh, shit. Would you guys even cross paths, though? Think about this carefully. I don't know who's at the door. Would I cross paths with Chip? And would Chip tell me? I'd say Chip is already downstairs by the time you walk into it, yeah? Hey, what are you, what are you just, doing? Soldiers outside stall. I'm gonna get Gillian uh, upstairs. How the fuck am I supposed to do that? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Just... I'm gonna... Put on an apron, I guess. Oh, and she was like, like anything uh, else. Apron, one of those like, uh, one of those bandanas that kind of go around the head that kind of ties your hair back. Okay, uh, you're going to full on of, try to yeah, disguise like, kind yourself. Of, like, yeah, kind of. Just like make it look like I'm working right so, now. While I see her do this, I'm gonna disguise myself too. I have to be innocent looking. I have to be completely <laughs> like. I have to be harmless. I'm going to be a grandmother. <laughs> no! I disguise myself Goodness! as an old grandma. Jesus Christ. You are too busy bringing uh, Gillian up the steps. Don't I just think about it? Isn't that all it takes? No, no, you can disguise yourself, but you're still in the background. Okay, you can't do all of that and then come back down disguised. Does that make sense? Yeah. I won't come back down. I'm just trying to be disguised. Graham Graham just taking me to bed. It's completely normal. Here's what I say. You spend time gathering Gillian while Jay spends time quickly disguising herself. Yeah, so, Jay, I, you if open I get the, door? the chance. Before I open the door, I would go in and be like, hey, are you expecting any Navy? As I'm like tying up my hair. You say that? She shakes her head. She says, no, Jay, you're wanted. She like starts to stand up more. <laughs> oh, but you're, you're sick. Are you going to stop her? Are you going to rush to the door before she does? What do you do? I mean, she's right. I am wanted. <laughs> Jay's not stupid. <laughs> Jeez, okay, but like after this, you're getting right back in bed, okay? Okay. <laughs> she grabs you and pushes you into the door. Uh, yeah. Chip, roll stealth. 22. So in that case, it won't be you two doing the checks. It will be May versus an NPC 
I will now contest a role with myself. I hope she's a good liar, but also if she is, I feel like you should have a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be muffled for Jay and kind of inaudible for Chip. I'd be very much listening in. Okay, that's for me. Use my blood dice, and that is for the insight of the soldiers as she opens the door. She says, Good evening. How can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, ma'am. We got a few eyewitness reports of wanted pirates buying gems and leaving towards this here Kiwi village from within the kingdom. Have you seen these two? Here's some papers. I can't say I've seen them any time recent. But you've seen them before. A lot of people look like these two. And if we ask to come inside to inspect a little, you wouldn't have any... She stops. Ask for a warrant. <laughs> <laughs> you know that is against the laws as well as I do. This is my establishment my business and we are closed yeah power play <laughs> so one of the soldiers steps back west for something to another soldier and chip you would probably if you're looking are you looking through the window yes okay you see another soldier step off as they sort of just sort of stand they have the standoff with may farron at the door and they pull out a conch shell and they put it up to their ear start <laughs> Steps back, whispers something into the chief officer's ear. Well, ma'am, I hope you have a great night. I just let you know that tomorrow we'll be returning with a larger unit. Continuing our investigation. You rest well now. They start to walk away. She shuts the door. You hear her audibly sigh. Should <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> we see them walk away? Where do they go? One of them looks back. There's a grandma in the window. <laughs> just, it's like some <laughs> fucking horror movie shit. There's just an old lady looking through the fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see if they see you. Hold on. What was your stealth check? 22. They don't see you. Uh, they're walking back. One of them looks back towards the Eagle's Den. They're walking back to the the Quill Kingdom, the same pathway that you guys took to get there. She sighs, Jay, you are you are fair to come out of the door, Chip, whatever you'd like to do. Yeah, uh... She takes a seat at the bar, because she just wants to stump, not, not be shaky on her feet. No, absolutely. Hey, what the hell was up with the soldiers? Uh, Grandma just walks down the stairs. <laughs> what the hell was up? <laughs> it's completely normal, my voice, It's me, though. Grandma! <laughs> yeah. Chip, why are you with Grandma? <laughs> what? Oh, sorry back to normal <laughs> habit because there's new laws and they extend to kiwi village new laws uh -oh. yes essentially kiwi village is no longer neutral since quill kingdom has always been affiliated with raft the village is now too and so the laws work here and anyone housing wanted criminals i.e pirates will face consequence. So I can't really have pirates in my bar anymore. Uh, I can't be as free with occupation. Or if I do, they have to be very subtle. Well, how did Next. they know to come here? They might just have been gone door to door. But this is a hub for the people of Kiwi Village. It is well known. I see regulars and familiar faces, ones that even Jay grew up with that still come around. What you're saying is we shouldn't stick around. She goes behind the bar, <laughs> pulls out a little chest. Oh, Miss Miss Farron, I can't drink anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like a little lockbox. <laughs> oh. She opens it up, a little key that's kind of wrapped around her, her wrist. 
takes out Jay's wanted posters <laughs> that are like <laughs> rolled up. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cute. Anyway, she pulls it out. Just sort of hands it to you. I would love for you to stay. As long as you wish. But you can't look like that. I mean, you are beautiful, of course, but... If, I mean, if they find you, then... Yeah, I don't know what I can do. Especially that my magic is weakening, JJ. I don't... Yeah. Looks like... Your father won't let... Even the law... Have you killed by your friends... You know how it goes. Mm -hmm. uh, right, I mean... I know I don't... Yeah, you're just kind of looking at pictures of yourself with that, uh... Yeah. 80,000 gold bounty. Yeah. There's some slight pride in that. <laughs> Will you be okay, though? I mean, I don't want to leave you here alone. You know, it's not like you have anybody else here to help look after you if something happens. Please. <laughs> I look after this entire village. I always have people every day. Sometimes new, like Chip. Sometimes it's exciting. Most of the times it's the same. I have my birds. Yeah. I'll try to be okay, Jay. Like I said, I'm holding on. I just let you know what was going on. I, I need you to be okay. I'd like to back away up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be here for this. Yeah, you're just, you're not even there. <laughs> kind of follow her back to the little bed in that back room. Yeah, um... It's not like I can just put my friends at risk either by just staying here with you either. Um, so, I guess come morning we can, uh, we can head back out. You're welcome to come back once they've done their, their parole, I mean... If you have the chance before you go off on more. <laughs> I'll absolutely be back again. You don't have to worry about that. I don't think anything could really, you know, <laughs> keep me away. Um, I feel like no matter where I go in life, somehow I'll always end back here. It's my home after all. I've always called it the nest. I think probably at this point we'd actually wrap up and get back to sleeping because Jay has had a very long and stressful five days and <laughs> my mom is sick. <laughs> So she'd probably just be like, um, I don't know, they'd, they'd probably finish up with small talk or whatever, and she'd just give her a hug again and say, I love you, Ma. Thank you for helping. <laughs> I don't know if Gillian would still be alive if you had. He wouldn't be alive without you, JJ. The wind will always bless your wings. So never lose faith in yourself, okay? I'll try. There's some... bed rolls and such in the attic. You can bring them down here if you'd wish, or... I think we'll probably stay in the attic for the night, um, just in case they come back a little earlier than expected. Uh, I can wake you all up before the sun rises, if you'd like. Yeah. 
Um, absolutely. I I don't want to leave without saying goodbye, at least. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you, uh... Yeah, Jay would head up and sit okay. with the bedrolls, tuck Gillian in. Uh, so when you come up, um, how many D100s do I get for the puzzle? Oh my god, guys. This <laughs> this is what matters. Just roll a C. Hold on. You are 136 in, so there's probably about 80 left. Just roll another D100. Don't cheese this dude, all right? He's got to earn this, okay? This is this is character growth. 37. Oh, god damn it, Grandma! You needed 64 to finish, man. You were so close. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Holy god. shit! That was guttural. How could this happen? The consequences of inebriation? This stupid fucking game! <laughs> Unless you say otherwise, you hit the long rest. Yeah. Hit the long rest. Gillian? Oh, yeah? <laughs> you what? <laughs> Gillian. Having a breakdown about the puzzle in the background. <laughs> Dude, don't give him a nightmare. Are you fucked? Are you fucked in the head? <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? No one has ever had sweet dreams. We're in episode 99. There has not been a single sweet dream. You don't my have guy. sweet dreams, Gillian. You don't have nightmares. You have the quietest night of rest. You blink and your eyes open on the next day. Actually, you're being shook and awake. All what of happened? you are. The crock of dawn. Um, the crock of <laughs> the dawn. Croc? Holy shit. Oh, God. <laughs> she's got the crock of just a legendary crock. <laughs> she's glowing. Um, she's in sport mode. We're fucked. No, um, yeah. So you wake up the next day? Yeah. You're all level 12. <laughs> we didn't fucking tell you. Wow. Anyone. Wow, wow, wow. DM, I don't suppose I, mag I magically lose one more than one level of exhaustion, right? From a long rest? Nah, you just lose one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I still have I still have half HP, boys. I'm just gonna guess you guys are heading back to zero. I definitely want to thank Jay's mom. I mean, like profusely, basically. Yeah, absolutely. Before, um, before we go, she teases you about some silly things you said in your state before you uh, fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I give her a written coupon for one free life debt from Gillian Tidestrider. I have a pre-printed book of them, and I rip <laughs> one out, and I give one to her. And I also give one to Jay, and I also give one to Chip. <laughs> I also try to give one to the plants, because I think that they helped put one in the plant bed. You're giving me a piece of paper that is a life debt? Redeemable at any time. In case you don't return uh, post-zero or at any point during, your mom comes up to you, Jay, and just lets you know that she'll look around for anything that may help with your dream. That story mm -hmm. that you told her, and uh, that she will muster up the courage to call your father and tell him about things and then you guys get on your tiny little That's sailboat smart. yeah and you begin to uh leave so for this just expedite it because they took the entire session last time yeah. i just need one of you who is navigating the way to hey. roll your uh survival you can do it with advantage since you have the spyglass okay that's good <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That's not a good roll. Okay. Oh, ten. I got a ten on my first roll. Uh, yeah. Uh, first one was the natural one, so I mean, good thing I had that advantage. <laughs> I yeah, guess. Yeah, that was that was funny. Essentially, it just means that you're not gonna get there as fast. You got here very fast, and there was a lot of natural twenties involved. The curve is coming to get you right now. I think. <laughs> yeah. We'll say it takes about around the same time, maybe an extra day or two, just because of the roll. Pretty, pretty average okay. roll and um, you've now been gone for over a week did we ever fucking call and tell them what was going on if you want to during your travel you can tell me so yes i, I, I think I, we should yeah we yeah. definitely definitely should okay okay so you you um what are you just saying that you went to go save gillian and now you're on your way back or is there anything anything else you include describe how like everything that happened like we left yeah, and all then right. Uh -huh. yeah, and then boom, yeah. bam, bop, we fought a thing, that, except we didn't fight it, we hid, and, and then he was a bird, and then she was a bird, and then we were a bird, and then we went, 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 and then we because I like the suspension. Chip, you raised that kid wrong. I only got him like late into his development. If I had him since birth, it would have been a different story. You, ha you had him <laughs> in, the, in the formative years. You blaming Ollie's mother for the way he is right now? Yeah. I, I, Chip, my face still hurts. It'll never recover. 
He was actually so geeky whenever he you met him, and now he's like, he's spunky, bro. <laughs> he he's he's broken the shell. What a, All right. What an adjective. I, I will that. say on the same morning uh, that you were woken up. Before we get back to zero, Gillian Pressel went insane. I mean, like, slapping suction cups all over your face, oh. hugging it, you know, fucking watery eyes. She's making the... the, the ah, baby, like the, the baby! Most hype uh, chirping noises. Um, just mentioning that Yay. she's been with you the whole time. She was equally as scared, and now cool. she's equally as happy, if not happier than anyone else, that you are awake. I give her treats. She did not like the giant bird, though. You get that. You get the sense. I liked the giant. Never again. Bird. You'll come around, Pretzel. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Did you just fucking speak? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys arrive back at zero, let's say, early morning one day. Over the course of this trip, just finally so I can say this, and it's out there in the world, Gillian gets progressively less red and returns to his original oh. hue, and spawning season is finally over. Thank God. <laughs> Thank He's God. back to normal. He's back to normal. I can change him. That's all I wanted to say. The wound kind of looks like a fresh wound, but not in the sense where it doesn't heal anymore. It just looks like it's finally healing. Does it look cool, though? Yeah, it's more red now and no longer e is. like leaking black sludge. Okay, sweet. <sighs> or whatever the color your blood is, I don't think it's red, right? It's like blue. Yeah, it's like blue. It was red for a bit. So, like, no nightmares at all, right? Like, No, he didn't have a single drink. I don't remember. How? We're, we're here. <laughs> How? <laughs> That was fast. I feel. I think I slept the entire time. Would it be possible for me to find a general store and give you a list of items and you tell me what I can get? You gonna do that first or? Yeah, I just wanna, I, yeah. Yeah, I want these things. I don't really wanna play it out, but like there are some things that I want. Yeah, if we all split off and then regroup just so we're all in the same place, that'd be sick. I wanna split off and go to the fucking post office and see if there's a package Perhaps say, yeah, if we got any sponsors, if there's like any stuff waiting in for me, like any meal deals. Jay, is there anywhere you'd like to split off? I don't think I really have anywhere I want to split off. Is there like, what kind of stores are in Zero? In there's Canela? that one espresso shop, or the, the coffee shop that was called Espresso. Um, uh -huh. The person that was like trying to pitch you guys to go there. Oh my God, get addicted to coffee. There's basically the bubble district, there's a lot of like restaurants. Um, delicious sweet smells, cuisines, sights from tall terraces, and just colorful artwork and a bunch of bubbles. Yeah, it's easier if you tell me what you want and I can tell you where you can go. I think her highest priority right now would probably be to regroup with everybody since we haven't seen like a week and a half. Maybe you could come with me to the general store. I'll come with you, yeah. Or maybe you could come with me to the post office. Make a choice. Oh, It'll impact what we think of you for the rest of this. Bum, 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 bum. You see a little bar at the bottom of your screen and it's shrinking. My my eyes are darting around. Come on, Jay, don't you want to come? Bum, 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 bum. It says this will lock your game into the chip ending of the story. Are you sure? I guess I could buy some stuff at the corner store, grocery store. General, just just a general, general store. store. <laughs> all right, it's got a little, it's got a little one here. All of you begin to split off, and you start to realize you're going the same direction. And each of you. Well, this is awkward, Jay. Why me? Heading to the post office, um, following the signs, and heading to the general store. You're headed to the Renaissance Avenue, which in a previous episode I mistakenly called it Revenue Avenue, which is a better fucking name in my opinion. Anyways, it's Revenue Avenue now because I'm the DM and I can change it. That's a little bit of a glimpse, a little bit of sights as you're walking. I just sent it in the chat. This is mostly the painting. What you've been told, especially Jay, when you were inquiring about the town and what's in it, for someone to help Gillian, this is where the you know people who are already pretty well off in this town, much like older families, richer families, this is that sort of district, why it's called the uh, now Revenue Avenue. <laughs> Here there's things like I love that. Capitalism uh, Avenue. That much, pretty much, uh, that much, much more luxurious actual hospital. There's a bank. There's the post office, which, Gillian, you get to. And then there's the general store, which Chip and Jay, you get to. Do you think Gillian was mad at me for choosing guess to we'll, with you? Guess we'll part ways here, unless anyone wants to come in with me. <laughs> uh, no, he'll be fine, right? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just dejected in a corner. Oh, well, you walk in and you say, I'm getting charged for a package or something, right? I'm Gillian, yeah, I say, I'm Gillian Tidestrider, I have a package. 
And I say it like that. And uh, what do they, what do the they say? The post office guy pulls out a fucking gun. He's like, whoa, what are you packing right now? You packing right you're now? I see you're packing too. I pull out my sword. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're here for your mail. You said Gillian Tide Strider? He starts to put it back in the holster. Yeah. No, I'm not into that. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just here to pick up some mail. If there happens to be any for Gillian. Well, let me check my. First name Gillian, last name Tide Strider, champion of the Undersea, hero of the deep. The one to sing a song about. Oh! I've learned to actually fast forward through my own titles. Yeah, I recognize you. You gave the you gave the speech in the town right before mm. Raph tried to kill everybody. Yeah, I got yeah, that. Yeah, that was me. I'm, I'm hey, so happy. Enjoyed that festival everybody threw last night. Ooh, I'm still recovering, man. <laughs> I think your sense of time is fucked. What did you do? <laughs> it's wait, been a week. what? It's been a week. <laughs> it hasn't been. It wasn't. Wait, the no, the festival was last night. No, I, no, I know man. because. No, man, it's been like nine days. <laughs> Fuck, was I blacked out for five? Dude. No, you're you're pulling in on no, me right no, now. No, man. You're what, pulling my what leg. What is this? Is that a ring on your finger? Just, I'm going to look for your packages now. <laughs> <laughs> Comes back holding like four boxes. Four boxes? He sets them down. Go, oh, this is heavy. What did you order and how did the dolphins get it here? I don't know, but I this is for really you. Know. Okay. Well, I, you know, ordinarily I would unbox these and, uh, you know, with my, with my friends and we'd all kind of get excited about it. But since it's just you, what's your name? Let's unbox it together. <laughs> my name? Has anyone ever asked you that before? Don't laugh. Never. It's Riz. What's your last name, Riz? Riz? Your last name is Riz. So what? I'm from the Riz family, huh? I get made fun of all the time. What do you know? What's your dad's name? Riz. You said you wouldn't laugh. And I'm not. Your name is Riz Riz of the Riz family. And your father's name is Riz. Riz. That's Riz. Is Riz. Okay, Riz, would you like to help me open these packages? Riz, Riz. Oh yeah, I can help you open your package. Fuck, oh, I didn't mean it for said to sound like that. I'm just, don't tell my boss. Who's your boss? What's your <laughs> boss's name? I think it's best if you leave. I think so too. I pick up these packages <laughs> and I walk away forever <laughs> from Riz Riz and I, I'll I'll open them on the I'll open them on the on just the little the little porch outside. Yeah, yeah. Easy enough. You're like That's overlooking a balcony with the stream that kind of runs through the town of Zero. Yeah. Loot get I say that every time. Uh one of them has the gauntlet. And then the rest of the pieces of armor, and then whenever you do your attunement, it will be the way that you requested. Oh, this is so cool. And okay. there's a little note and and one of them from Rufus that says a little note. Sorry, it took so long. <laughs> we managed to capture his inflection so perfectly. There's so many vowels. <laughs> I'll put all my armor on and and uh go, I guess, just to next next place wherever we meet up. Yeah, as soon as you put your armor on, there's victory music. I just... There's victory? <laughs> okay, in that case, I hear the victory music. I pump one fist yeah, yeah. straight up into the air. I still need an activation phrase for you. And I look around, and I think I've got a good idea. And you see as the world starts to fade, and it turns into just a gradient of speed lines and sparkles... Hard mode. <laughs> no. And you see as all these these armor pieces begin to light up and shimmer. Um, and I have a full just panning around gauntlets fucking coming on, like shooting on like Iron Man. Uh, the visor comes over my head, whoosh, full thing, eyes light up. Um, grab my sword, it lights up. I go, whoa, like Sonic and the Black Knight. That was a really formative cutscene I watched in my childhood years. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> um, go. And it's freaking awesome. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. And then I look around for approval from my friends and they're not there. Uh, what did they do? 
You got that list for me? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I would like a bell, bedroll, dynamite, candle, common clothes, thieves' tools, disguise kit, grappling hook, smoke grenade, if yeah. I can, two 10 foot poles, a holy symbol, Brilliant. holy water, five what? hunting traps, ancient huh? jug, little huh? bag of sand, <laughs> loot, <laughs> steel mirror, any kind of poisons they might have. If yeah, they don't fair. have any, that's fine. That's you fair. know, even if it's just like a tiny little poison. An oil flask, perfume, like, playing card set, stinky. portable okay. ram. Don't know if that's going to be possible, but it was only Bad. two gold on the. On D and D Beyond, um, two hundred feet of rope, Practical. sealing wax, one hundred bars of soap. That Stinky is fucker! A gong, willow Bold. shade oil, wood carver <laughs> tools, ball <laughs> bearings, and fifty daggers. Not magical, just normal daggers. And a wheelbarrow to carry it all in. <laughs> We're going to wheel around for the rest of the campaign. At least until we get the briefcase. This is fucking awesome. Roll persuasion. Thirty-three. I only saved 25 gold, bro. Persuasion ain't worth shit. Dude, cry about it in your fucking house. <laughs> you got with a magic card. <laughs> Go back to your fucking mansion and cry about it. So, Chip, those are the things you get. Jay, you were asking about splitting off to find like potions and stuff to prepare for the Black Sea. It's not That's a dedicated. Yeah, that'd be stuff I'd probably do after we meet up with everybody else because the boat awesome. isn't ready yet. You guys head to the last place that you were the keep hidden within the forested mountains of Canela. And you walk into the door where there is an intimidating tension as soon as you open and step in. You see Griffin inside the keep sits on a couch off to the side of the tub in the living room created by the anchor and your handiwork. You also see Finn floating gently in that tub. You got the right idea, grand people. You hear something happening in the kitchen. Some pots and pans. Huh! You also notice Alphonse's metal shell resting on the side of the steps. And just as you see that, Enzo walks down the steps. Okay, old man, I've got... She sees you guys. Oh, hey, you're back. Hey. Yeah. Hey, guys. What's going on? Feels thick, thick air in here. Molasses. She looks around. Hey, uh, Panda Man, you're kind of uh, brooding up the place. Could you, you know, cool it? And then the tension just sort of subsides a little bit. You hear something going on upstairs, just some talking. Okay. Ollie runs down the steps. <gasps> Captains! Jumps up on, <laughs> on whoever is available first in the line. <laughs> All three of you. Did I get the wheelbarrow? I just need it because that 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 informs what happens next. Fine, fine, fine. Surely he got the wheelbarrow. Yeah! Yes. Okay. So Ollie jumps into this wheelbarrow full of stuff. Oh, Ollie! I just bought all this stuff. Ow! Ow! <sighs> somebody's poking me. Uh, oh, that, that might be fuck, the ink wait, pen. Wait! 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 Or wait! Or the hunting wait. trap. Okay. Luckily, he rolled a nineteen. You hear as one of the hunting traps goes off. <laughs> the one hunting trap. Ah! Oh my god! Shit! Be careful. You're trying to kill me! Oh, you're lucky my mom didn't see that. She'd hate you. Oh, She'd that'd... hate you for hurting her little baby boy. That'd be so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my mom that you tried to kill me. She starts to run up the steps. <laughs> okay. Griffin walks up. Hey. Hey, Griffin. Why are you emitting such a brooding energy today? Yeah, what's going on? Enza continues down the steps and into the little kitchen area where she starts conversating with Old Man Earl. It seems that in the week or so you guys have been gone, your entire crew has been gathered and congregated here in this keep. That's that's convenient. You know, I'm just always like this. What do you mean? Or maybe it's because you left again without well, me. But hey, no, don't worry. I brought you something. I think back <laughs> to the birds. You, you, you wouldn't have liked it. He, he pauses. I root around <laughs> in in the wheelbarrow. This pen, just for you. Jeez. He keeps loading the gun in his arm. This is deserved. I told you, I'd kill you. <laughs> but it's such a nice pen. Look at it. See, look at what I can make it do. And I make it wiggle in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> I like to get him not to kill me. 
by showing him this cool trick. I want to. I want to. I have to destroy the pen. I have to. I don't understand. I'm going to roll the hit. Okay, I got a. I got a. I got a twenty-four. It moves like the waves. It spooks Gillian. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm. I sweat it at second level. What? Okay. What is the pen's AC? Because could it be equivalent to my sleight of hand? No, dude. No. I shatter it because it shatters me. You could try to roll a sleight of hand contested against his. I don't think you'd think it'd be sleight of hand though. Be like a. Well, I'm just trying to like sli- like move the pen away, and it's wiggling. How's he gonna hit it? <laughs> it's wiggling. How's he? Gonna- I don't know. He did it so unexpectedly. I don't think you'd have time. <laughs> yeah, I think he just fucking sliced through it. Well, because he's not hitting me. It wouldn't be my AC. Reaction time, huh? That sounds like a deck save to me. It's a pen, bro. Is it a bic? Like, why are you so concerned about it? Because it's a pen. It's my pen. I don't know. I mean, Griffin. Listen, we were on like a really Shh, tiny wait, wait, wait. boat. I gotta see like, how this plays out. Okay, that's a okay. 14 on my deck save. <laughs> All right, the pen suffers in half. I mean, I cut it in half. It starts ink. Yeah, it starts inking on the ground. So you bleed. <laughs> <laughs> it's blue ink as well. Nice, Gillian. Awesome. Thanks, Chip. Close call. Looks like it was clearly venomous. Griffin, how <laughs> how did the how did the excursion go? Did you manage to prevent those uh? Those those uh, gang members, or those hooligans, those ruffians, those thugs, those thieves, those scoundrels, those bandits. Oh, he filled me in on what happened. So, not actually angry. We uh, delay the mutiny another day. Yeah, I keep hearing about the mutiny getting delayed. I never hear about it getting canceled. <laughs> Stop standing in the doorway, come on. I'll walk in. You bring the wheelbarrow in? Yeah, I bring it in, and I'm wheeling it around. You guys walk in, you hear some muffled... <laughs> some laughing going on upstairs. What? Do we recognize the voice? Yeah, you do. Sounds like Dre laughing. Oh, okay. How have things been on the home front? How's the ship looking? Right, uh, right, right, right. What about the guy we who said he was going to burn down... A, a poor hospital. Yeah, you guys took care of it, right? All right. Oh, which one first, the ship or... Probably the burning. Definitely the burning. Okay, yeah, the burning. <clears throat> Where do I begin? <laughs> that building uh, didn't make it. By the time me, Trey, Oliver, and Queen got there, Ollie was panicked, so we did our best to, uh, be quick, but we did, uh, well, not we, Ollie and Queen got some people out of the fire. Maybe not everyone. Trey and I followed the gang. We decided to, uh, let them think they got away. See where they return to. You know, find their hideout. And we did. And, uh... Caves, damn. No, no, they were in some kind of cave. Off the side of the island. Not, I guess it kind of could have been like a den. This goes but, against uh, everything I've ever known. They weren't a guild or anything. In fact, after we beat the shit out of them. <laughs> all of them. Nice. We figured out they were, uh, answering to someone higher up. Did you happen to get a name? Yeah. Yeah, uh... He goes back, he has, like, this little sack that, uh, there's, like, it's like a... It's, it's kind of like one of those little sacks you just throw over the shoulder. It's just oh, two yeah, very yeah. long shoestrings. Uh, he opens it up, pulls out a roll, hands you guys a wanted poster. Yeah, that's him. He hands it to you, and you're looking at a uh, familiar face and a familiar name. A, uh, Captain Dagger. Captain Dagger? Yeah, it's like Dagger, but with an E. It's not how you say it, though. Well, that's how it's written. Does he, uh, look familiar? No. Well, e- can I, nope. like... Nope. Was he, like, on Unless. Geraldo or something? Nope. Like, in the tournament? Is he Goblin? Is he a Goblin? A little Goblin guy looking for revenge? What does he look like? Just a wanted poster picture of a like square-headed man, bit of a buzz cut. Just sounds like a guy. <laughs> looks like a looks like a grizzled, 
mean looking dude. Yeah, well, he wasn't there, so. Huh. We'll find him eventually. We need to have, like, I don't know, we should, like, say this island is ours or something, and everybody who fucks with it is fucking with Riptide Pirates. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, I just figure, like, maybe if Ollie's gonna stay here, we should probably, like, have this place under our protection, and anybody who fucks with it. You don't think it'll make the Navy come for it, do you? If we say, hey, what's up with the Riptide Pirates? Come here. I mean, like, well, they already kind of, you know, chased off the Navy. It kind of means that you, uh, take responsibility for this island and its people. It becomes pirate soil or outlaw soil. But pirates never soiled. How much is the, uh, wanted poster for? About 50,000 gold. We have a larger bounty. Could we not simply absorb him? The undersea <laughs> works in strange ways. <laughs> I say... Yes, what do, you, what do you think, Jay and Chip, to declaring this as Riptide Pirate Soil? That sounds awesome. I mean, I, we should probably Ooh. talk to, like, the people first and see if they're okay with that, but yeah. Yeah, when what goes into declaring something your soil? Is there paperwork? I don't know if I want to do paperwork. No, it's just, you kind of say it. And well, then they get, to and then, like, the people on the island say, hey, if you fuck with us, you're fucking with the Riptide Pirates. I think we should show up on a roof again and just yell it out, because that worked really, really well last time when they made a statue about it. Don't you guys think that claiming territory as our own just inv invites challenge, pretty much? And anybody who's an enemy of us or doesn't like us would come here to destroy this place? And we're going to be gone, right? We're not even going to be here. We'll have, like, a teleporter, maybe. I'm, I'm just going to ask Enza. Yeah, teleporter's great. We claim this as our own. We, we increase our battle power. And, um, yeah. Do Okay, so if it's our land, can we have an army? I mean, you can try. You're talking about recruiting people who just got out of a long fight with the government. Yeah, so they're experienced. I don't know. The worst thing I've ever heard. Why don't we just put these people under our protection so we don't have, you know, any idiots like Captain Sweord or some other weird pronunciation of a word? Captain we up show I up. Know, I just have this feeling like if we, you know, declare that these people have our protection, then they're going to die tragically and it's going to be used to hurt our feelings. I think you need to dive into that with someone. Yeah, I also think that, the, like, somebody else is going to roll around and be like, oh, free real estate, and then blow them up and take the land for themselves if we don't anyway. You know what? So. Fuck it. Let's manifest this destiny. <laughs> you did say destiny, though, and I like that word. Coming off a little weak there, Chip. I don't know, man. I just don't... <laughs> I don't feel like we're capable of protecting a whole island of people. Oh, yeah? Let's see if you're so sure about that after this. Hard mode! <laughs> and I, I put my hand up in the air and go through a, like... <laughs> I mean, it actually takes six seconds, but it feels like a minute long transformation where just like fucking like armor is like materializing magically and like flying through the air as I put, I strike various poses and it just like flies on fucking chest plate. My head shoots up. Uh, the, the helmet goes like flying over my head again. Uh, I strike a final destiny pose uh, and there's a blast of light. All right, I'm sold. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I was about to ask you a hard-hitting question, but I guess we can avoid it. What, what well, was no, the hard-hitting hard question? question? No, hit it. I'm harder. Oh, I mean, I was just going to ask. Why the hell are you a pirate? Doesn't really seem like you uh want to do anything pirate-like. Listen, pirate's just kind of a thing we call ourselves because we have a pirate ship and have <laughs> a flag. So, why am I a pirate? Because it's like a cool thing to say, and it's easier than saying I'm a guy with a pirate ship, with a pirate flag. Hey, and I've got a question for you, Griffin. If you're a pirate, someone that, you know, lives by their own will and is free, then why are you letting the world put you, their preconceived notions of piracy on, on you? Whoa. That's hard mode, baby. No. You don't understand. Chew on that <laughs> thought sausage for a while. <laughs> <laughs> what an insane fucking thing to say. I'm stealing that. That's fucking awesome. Being a pirate is not some fun mini game you just chose to do. You are an enemy of this world. You are in danger all the time. Oh my god. <laughs> 
<laughs> he walks away. <laughs> He's going to think about that. It's really going to change his perspective. I think so. Yeah. Um. I mean, you know, we are kind of just like enemies of the world, generally. We Mostly might... the Navy. Yeah. Yeah, well, the Navy sucks. I'm okay with being enemies of them. Yeah, it's whatever. It's okay. I think I was always just probably going to be a big Navy enemy anyway. Think so? That makes sense. If you weren't, like, with us, what do you think you'd do to piss them off? Uh, it zooms in on <laughs> Gillian's head. It zooms out. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, some fishy, fishy, fishy war crimes. Well. All right. <laughs> happy happy we're not there. I, I don't know where I'd be if I, if I never met you guys. Maybe, uh, maybe dead. Well. I'm glad you're not. <laughs> Even if Thanks. we came really close. Thanks to you. Now let's give a cool, inspiring speech and claim this whole freaking island. Listen, I'm not really like the speech kind of person. Um, I crack my knuckles. I got this. Chip, you're looking. You look. You're sparkling, man. You look. Yeah, you look good. Have you been? How much Vaseline did you apply? Wow. He's six. God damn, blo uh, any blow would slide right off you. Did you just say he's a sex <laughs> No, I said six. I said six. I did you. You're Did right. I? You're right. He is sex. Let's get him up there on a podium and let's fucking, let's, <laughs> let's, let's show this town that, that we're in their corner and they've got nothing to fear. Let's get him up there. Let's get Chip on a roof. I want to get Chip on a roof. And hey, Gillian, if this whole shit thing doesn't work out, you know, you you stirred uh, them into revolution. Try, once. Tried and true, Jay. Let's just let's <laughs> let's let this play out, okay? Because I think I think after seeing him immortalized as a barrel, he might he might need this. I'd like to ask the rest of the crew to gather the townsfolk near the statue. Go for it. Let's go gather the town if you guys are down. Sure. Let's do it. I uh would like to just put put a hand on on Chip's shoulder. Um. It is your destiny to to guide these people. Take that thought sausage and chew on it. <laughs> Give them guidance. I'll say it takes a bit of time, but you guys are able to, by the evening or so, gather and spread the word of enough people that the Riptide Pirates, the captains, the ones that you threw the festival for and whatnot, Chip already spread, Chip already spread the word of himself just being present, buying a bunch of things yeah. and using that status as a discount. You take the time, evening comes, ship, you're standing on front of the roof. There is a ton of people gathered below you. Fuck it's the yes. same roof that you were on um, when you first ran through the town of Zero. People are kind of gathered a little around that fountain, spread, sprawling off into different sections of the uh, districts. Oh, yes. So. I want to hit Chip with a couple things. I want to hit him with an enhanced ability and I want to absolutely coat him uh, in in Vaseline and make him the most glistening version of himself he could be. Um, so I cast Enhance Ability on him, and he gets advantage on Charisma checks. Oh, wow. Um, and then I also want to give him another Guidance and give him another D4. So he gets advantage in a D4. You got this, Chip. I don't know how to, how to describe this, but... Uh... You can also add plus four to the roll because I'm going to use Flash of Genius on your fucking charisma roll. Yeah, you're so smart. Put some glasses on him. Before I go up there, I go, <laughs> all right, so what exactly am I telling them? That we're going to protect them? and Just that we're going to protect them. Like, like this, this is like what we're offering their them protection so they can invoke our name to like tell people to piss off kind of deal, you know? And don't speak with this. And I grab his mouth. <laughs> speak with this. And I... Hold him on the chest, and I push him out in front of everyone <laughs> as he goes out there on this roof. And I, and I give him a thumbs up from behind him. How many people would you say are in front of me right now? Oh, I can tell you. Hold on. <laughs> I'll even roll for it. Probably close to, like, just under the entire population max. <laughs> Fuck yes, dude. <laughs> so you're looking oh at, like, go. around a thousand people. Holy oh my God. shit. You stand in front of this crowd of people that you spent the day gathering after your brief talk with uh, Griffin to get the kind of update on what happened. In the crowd, I mean, you could spot the face of Mr. Rico. 
it's a very colorful cast. Wow. Of an audience. Wow, wow, wow. We'll say some of your crew is here, like Queen, Ollie, maybe even Ollie's mom, Dre. So Chip getting pushed forward just kind of stumbles out onto the roof and takes a second to look up at all of these people. Uh, good evening. He's killing it, Jay. He's <laughs> killing it out there. Yeah, They're he's eating it up. It. Yeah, he's killing it. You say good evening and all these voices that are uh, murmuring amongst themselves that kind of make it sound like there's honestly like a wave crashing back and forth as the people talk. And then you say good evening and it just hushes as they all kind of turn and look. Some of you may know me as Chip, captain of the Riptide Pirates, and others may know me as the Barrel from your great <laughs> statue. You see a sudden realization. Oh, that's him. That's the baby barrel. Yeah. A lot of people didn't recognize you until you said that. Where's the barrel? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking shit. <laughs> shit, Jay. Fuck. We didn't think about the objects of this. Yeah, we I, didn't I, bring I, the barrel. We didn't bring the barrel. I, 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 I run around. I'm frantically looking for a barrel. We're, we're losing the crowd. <laughs> I don't think the fucking press is here. The fucking press is here, Jay. Shit. Um, is there, can I find him a barrel? On a natural 20. Come on! No! I got an eight. I got an eight. I got an eight. You don't find a barrel on the roof here. I minor illusion of fucking barrel. That works. That works. Most people believe it. There's no barrel. Oh, there is a barrel. Okay. I put the barrel down and I go to stand <sighs> on it and I fucking fall through it. <laughs> you get in the barrel, basically. Love this. <laughs> you just get inside a barrel. There was cheering at the side of the barrel and then you fall through and it's like, oh, and there's like a- like, And I stand up from out of the barrel and I put my hands up. More cheering. Some people are confused. All right, all right, settle down, settle down. We gathered you all here today to talk about your freedom. When we got here, the first time, I saw a town plagued by the Navy, by oppression. And we did our best to take a stand against that. And all of you followed. And now this is a place of freedom. And I'd like to ask you all to allow us to continue protecting that freedom so that anyone who comes here looking to trample on that freedom, you'll turn them away. In the name of the Riptide Pirates. Voices begin to rise as the mass of crowd begins to process a proposition being laid in front of them. We won't claim this land as our own. You will always be a free people. But if you give us the opportunity, we will protect that. We will stand by that. Now, some of you may have heard of a band of thieves that has come around taking from those who already have so little burning down buildings. I'm glad to say our crew has tracked those people down and put a stop to it. But they won't be the last. And when the others come, call upon us. And I gesture to the other captains to step and I, out. Uh, that's fucking awesome. I step out, I want to be in the same pose I was when I first was at this place, and I want to turn to all these people and nod to Chip and say, Take that thought sausage and chew, chew on, on it! it! Chew on it! <laughs> <laughs> I cast Minor Illusion and there's like a huge fucking like thunder crack that just like <laughs> appears from us. Just this lightning will just blasts out. We all, we all have to strike a pose here, clearly. We, yeah, we all like, strike a fucking awesome pose. A yeah. sick pose. I full on Superman hands on hips. Yeah. Oh, we all do that. We all do this. Oh, Superman fuck hands on yeah, hips. dude. Yeah. Oh, fuck yes. So I don't even know if you need to, like, if there's a point in making you roll, but Can I'll I roll? say. 
<laughs> I'd like you to roll performance to the advantage. And I get to add four from Jay, and then I get yes. a D4. Gillian, would you roll that D4 for me? Absolutely, my friend. That's a four. Yeah. Every time I hear this song, let's like, fucking go. And let's I got a natural go. 20. What the fuck? <laughs> what is it? Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. And then a plus four. That's a 39. Holy fucking shit. Oh my God. What the what fuck? What the fuck? Did you roll another, another four on the D4? I get four from Jay. Oh, it's just auto four? Yeah, Damn. so Jay has a thing called Flash of Genius that she got at level uh, 7 Artificer. That's crazy! And I'd like to choose Gillian. I'd like to choose Jay. I'd like to choose Mr. Rico. And I'd like to choose three others that are looking at me. <laughs> choose that baby! Choose that baby! Choose right the, baby. the one baby you <laughs> carried through the first yes. episode with her mother standing right there. And give them all 15 temp HP with my inspiring leader feet that I got with this new level. <laughs> I grab the baby, I give it to Chip to kids. Voices begin to rise, rise to an uncontrollable decibel. And then you hear Mr. Rico, the one who has, you know, a special sort of relationship with Oliver and has met you guys this far and has had a few interactions standing next to Oliver and his mother and some of your crew. And as the voices begin to rise, she does a really, really loud, like eagle whistle. And everyone goes silent. You know what? We haven't been able to figure out some form of government anyways. And your last speech got us this far. We're professionals at building ourselves back up. I say I believe in them. I don't mind being underneath the flag of a few pirates. If those pirates are you. And then another person. He recognizes Riz. <laughs> yeah, you know what? <laughs> it's, it's this guy. By the Riz family? Oh. I'm with it too. Oh boy. The what family? Just don't worry about it oh, right now. Riz gets Riz gets 15 temp HP, by the way. He's Jesus. one of the people. I feel <laughs> finalized! My Riz is rizzing! He says and screams. A few people go, yeah, you know what? Me too! This guy's got like one thing. More people chime in. Until it just erupts in a singular cheer of people saying, I'm with you. Awesome. Fuck yeah. I crowd surf. This town believes in your promise. You crowd surf? <laughs> Roll acrobatics. That's a three. <laughs> <laughs> you I got six total. <laughs> you jump, people get immediately defensive. They pull out some weapons, they back up, you go fall straight onto the ground and then they realize what you're trying to do oh they God. pick you up and you start crowd surfing anyway <laughs> but it hurts you take at least like, like 10 points of bludgeoning damage from that. and i'd like there to be a scene where we go we find a flag and we deface it with the riptide there's, there's that there's that crushed uh or like crumbling navy tower the entire town basically carries you up the rainbow colored steps on the crowd surf, uh, crowd surf, and then you guys uh, follow along if you wish to crowd surf as well. You may. A hundred percent, yes. Can, do we have to roll for it? Fuck yeah, go ahead. Okay, acrobatics. You said right. Yeah, we'll see if you take damage on the way. Right, I got a seven. Oh, I got a six. <laughs> <laughs> Neither one of you learned from Chip, and people do the exact same reaction. Very jumpy, these people. Um, but you eventually all make it up there. You see, there's that like almost as if it's withered away through fire damage the old raft flag on the crumbling raft tower and you're able to deface it however you wish look i've got one 10 foot pole but maybe we can find a place to put it up where it's already at the top of the thing. that would be fucking awesome yeah and, and i want to is there like a way we can like you know how flags have like that top piece is there a way we can like make that a barrel like a barrel top piece with the flag going on yeah sure i just want to paint it with our flag easy enough and then we plant it in, and as we do, it'd be cool if Gillian did some lightning. Yeah, yeah, man, I do some fucking lightning. It's sick, and it's, <laughs> it's awesome. It's fucking awesome. Get all your contributions to the scene right now. Okay, all right, I, I cast every spell I have, <laughs> I do everything. Uh, I unload 15, bears, <laughs> 15 bullets directly into the air. Uh, <laughs> straight up. Yeah, I call fucking lightning. There's no way I would normally be able to do this, and I'll never ask you to let me do this again. Jesus but Christ. If I'm up there, maybe there's a couple of torches nearby. 
here's what you do. You're looking around for a torch of flame and you start to notice people of your crew. Ali is holding Alphonse is like <laughs> armor and Griffin walks up holding. Um, we'll just say it's torch for ease of access. Back. He walks up and as he's handing it to you, he goes, it's funny. And the same day, I question your leadership. <laughs> You're pretty fucking good at it sometimes. Delay that mutiny another fucking day, Griffin. We're gonna keep pushing it back one day at a time. Until, <laughs> I guess, until like it's out of our life or something. Until we get mutiny committed on us. <laughs> and see the torch. More of the Riptide Pirates gather at the top here. I'll just look at Griffin. I'll kind of just give him a nod. And I'll take the torch throw it up in the air. I want to control flame to make it make the just the shape in the air of our Jolly Roger. And it's done. We're fucking and then awesome. Come to a close <laughs> and that is where we're going to end the session. <laughs> Woo! Oh hell yeah, man. I'm going to be thinking about that fucking Nat 20 you got, dude, for <laughs> a long, long time. That was one of the that was one of the sickest fucking rolls yeah, ever. Yeah, if, if there ever was a destiny fulfilled. That, that was it. <laughs> Even though you have the, like, unlimited number dude, dude, generator dude. for those rolls, know, like, it's so cool that it was natural 20. That's why we roll anyways, just to see. Because if it was natural yeah. 1, it could have been even worse. Like, there might have been some people who didn't really agree, but everybody's in for it now. Oh, yeah, baby. A huge day. Oh, they're going to be talking about this. And we're going to be talking about it, too, on Just Rolled With It Ooh. over at patreon.com slash just roll with it. The show after the show where we talk about the show. Go check it out. Why don't you take that fucking thought sausage and chew, and chew on, on it. it. Chew on it. I don't know why the fuck I said that. <laughs> Whoa, my god, that's the end of the episode. The whale. Whoa. Oh man, that was a good one, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, well, we gotta thank the patrons over at patreon.com slash just roll with it for that one. Cause they're supporting the show over there at the $50 tier. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's get a huge shout out for Falugash Falugash? Fal Fal Falu God damn it. Falugash? Har Haribo? Alderic? EMT3? Emperor Penguin69? Erica Moon? The Drift King? Kojo Wo? It's Af. It's a. It's Af. Afena? It's Afena. I think that's how you say that. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at reading these names out, but I'm doing my best. Thank you anyway. Mr. Doble, a pirate with gout. To get that checked out, Mr. Underscore C, Skeleton Aficionado, Nova Sink, The Game Hunter, I love you guys so much, Bump Husking, Teeny Ghosts, Willustrator, It's C Fresh, Me Forever, Mate, Seuss Dude, Serizaku, Serizaku, Charlie Darling Son Songbird, Eclipse 1680 Gaming, Bazozo, Quinn Gibson, Bloke Fieri, Cadus Betus, Epicris, Kalen, Leftover Rice, You Will Rue the Day, Hmm Burr Gurr, Titan Storm, Jonathan Bleak, Luke Renbu, Thomas Pierce, Beebness Dapper, Unstable, Chaotic Cracker, Hollow Headed, A Moon Beast Fan, Bree, Law, Bree Lee, Daxi Boy, Vapor, O Kerberos, Colin the Bard, Flu Fleeboo, I'm butt flusting, Agar Steel Jaw, Beans, S34 Child, Cribwin, Wolfie, Jades2604, LOL, JADES. Oh, JADES. Okay. J is this Jades? I think so. All right. Joey Madness, Pippin the Alchemist, Mega Psionics, Tane Lambert the Snazziest, Sweet Cacti, Baca7, Cal's the Folded Pizza Zone, The Awesome Man, F Bomb 02. Whoa, F Bomb? Fly Guy, Amber Curry, Robert Gangwer, Chilean Vibe Strider. Holy shit, that's awesome. Man Made Imp, Jordan Darlin. I am in your walls. Abby, Katie, and Elliot. Red Sauce Over Paradise, Sam and Ducky, Sahara Lester, Mr. Nacho, Wild James, Sammy Bo the Second, Kev Senpai, Bisley's Burger. Oh my god, finally. Finrua, 
Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417, Boss Goat, Captain Lafayette, Narwhal Shellfish, John or Michael Ask Bisley. Riker Teasen, I'm so sorry. Riker Teasen, I love your name. Don't be John or Michael. Be Riker Teasen again, I promise. You can go back, okay? And don't don't take everything I say to heart. Be who be you. Be you, man. Be you. Anyway, Derpy Tricks, Geekly Legend, Crobin, Zero Codex, Deathclaw. Sandy, 007, Winterish Mist, William Smith, Apple, Sour Soul of a Pep, Cheshire, Big Man Christian, praise the Lord, Blue Blend Blop, Big Blue Bear Boy, a lot of B names, Elise the Washed Up Bard, Zerberus, Elvish Cyborg, Alyssa, Obligatory references. Cry, uh, cry sonus. Cry sonus sin. That's a cool name. I just suck. Lord Ticklefish. Even better name. Spinyax. Buttery Toast. Raytheon. Jacob Martinez. Kirby Wafro. Silvisol. There's not enough. Uh, there's not enough vowels in that name. I'm sorry. There's Silvisol. Silvisol. That's okay. Bionicle D and D. Teddy Love Bites. Anko. Unoya Loon. Gillian's biggest fan. The Godly King. Cornier Comet. Sorcerer. Punk. Charm of the Bard. Riker Kirotu. Kitsune. Nonslotl. Asteria Nix. George Benji. Phony Hats Incorporated. JRW I Enjoyer. Evenator and Jay Newell. All all three pages of you motherfuckers thank you we appreciate you so greatly i hope you enjoyed the episode if you want your name shattered at the end of a just roll that episode make sure to go over to patreon.com slash just roll with it and i will run and i will yell your name while i run out of breath uh anyways that's 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 all from people goodbye